Can you find X for 24 marks in under 20 minutes? Let's find out. Okay, let's get started with question one. Okay, so question one is uh, just your algebra and everything. So question 1.1 says, given x squared minus 2x minus 4 equals to 0, and we need to solve for x. Okay, so I'm pretty straightforward. Uh, we have a, a polynomial over here, and we just need to factorize it. Okay, so we find our factors of 24, uh, which is 2 times 12, 6 times 4, uh, 24 times 1. Okay, but now we need to find a set of factors, which will give me minus 2. So I can see that if I take negative 6 and plus 4, I'm then going to get uh, minus 2 over here. Okay, so two brackets, x in each bracket. Okay, now because this number is negative, the larger number needs to take the negative. So minus 6, and then we have plus 4 over there. Okay, and that's going to equal to 0. Therefore, we can round off by saying that x equals to 6 or... Um, x equals to negative 4. Okay, now 1.2.2 uh, they've given us another polynomial over there uh, and then please in note in brackets it says, it says correct to two decimal places. Okay, so the minute you see two decimal places you know you need to use quadratic formula. So x equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a okay now we just substitute in this is a that's b and that's c so we're going to get uh equal sign negative negative 3 plus minus the square root of negative 3 squared is going to give you 9 uh, minus 4a is 2 c is negative 3 okay now note that for this to be a real root either a or c needs to be negative so that uh, this here becomes positive again, and that's all over 2 times 2. So therefore, we're then going to get, uh, if we plug that into our calculator, okay, we're going to get x1 is going to equal to 2.19, or x2 is going to equal to negative 0 0.69. Okay, so that's just some calculator work. Then, Question 1.1.3 is an inequality question. Please, you need to solve this with a graph. You can't solve it any other way. So, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take that over. Okay, so I'm going to have x squared plus 5x minus 4 is less than or equal to 0. Okay, now we can factorize. Don't change this to an equal sign. So, let's factorize quickly so we can... Um, see what our roots are going to be okay so x in each one over there let's see the um factors of four is two and two that's not going to give me five but four and one will okay so if i have um positive four okay oh sorry that becomes positive there we go that makes sense so uh positive four and positive one okay now you need to draw your graph or number line but the graph is the best way to do it. We can see it's a happy parabola that we need to draw. So a happy parabola is going to look something like this. We're going to cut where x is equal to negative 4 and x equal to negative 1. So a happy parabola is going to be over there. Now they're asking where is the function below the x-axis because it must be less than 0. So that is all of this over here. So your final answer over here is going to be x is an element of including because it's uh, less than or equal to so including negative 4 and including negative 1 okay please you can't solve the inequality without drawing the graph then 1.1.4 uh, we're dealing with the square root of here so the first thing we're going to do is square both sides to get rid of to get rid of the square root over there okay so if we're going to have x plus 28 equals to now I'm going to factorize this side over here. Okay, so 2 times 2. Okay, remember we have 2 minus x, uh, 2 minus x. That's technically what we have over there. So I'm going to factorize. So 2 times 2 is 4. Uh, 2 times minus x, that's minus 2x. Then again, yeah, it's going to give me minus 2x. And then minus x times minus x gives me plus x squared. Okay, 
Now I'm just going to take everything to one side and sort it all out. So I'm going to have zero, uh, let's see, equals to four minus four uh, x plus x squared. Then we're going to have minus x from this side of here and then minus 28. Okay, so we have zero equals to, let's see, um, x squared. Um, sorry about that. Okay, so x squared. Uh, then we're going to have minus 5x. And then over here we'll have 4 minus 28 gives me uh, minus 24. Okay, once we get down to that, uh, we then know that the factors of 24 um, is... Uh, let's see, factors of 24, that's 2 times 12. Sorry, I had a brain lag there. Uh, then we have 1 times 24. We have uh, 6 times 4, 6, 12, 18, 24, there we go. And then we have 8 times 3. Okay, now we need negative 5 over here. So we can see that 8 and 3 will give us uh, the negative 5. Uh, and 1 needs to be positive. So we'll have x minus 8 and then we'll have x plus 5. So therefore we're going to get x equals to 8 or x equals to minus 5. Okay, that's 1.1.4. Now 1.2 looks at your simultaneous equations. Okay, so please take the simpler one over here and make it your subject. Don't try and make this complicated one your subject. So I'm going to make x my subject, therefore I don't have to deal with fractions later on. So x is going to equal to 2y minus 3. Okay, I'm going to call this equation 1 over here. Okay, now I'm going to substitute equation 1 into this one over here. Okay, so now I'm going to have wherever I see an x, I substitute this in. So 2, 2y minus 3 times y plus 7 equals x squared plus 4, 2y minus 3 squared. Okay, now I just need to um, distribute in, factorize over there, uh, I mean, sorry, foil out, and then we can solve for, um, what have I done? I've made a mistake, yeah, aha. Substituted into x's place. So, this should be 2y minus 3, okay gets the best of us sometimes, plus 4y squared, we're solving for y. Okay, so therefore we're going to have, uh, let's see, 4y squared minus 6y plus 7 equals to, that's going to be 4y squared, then minus uh, 6y, then minus uh, 6y again, and then plus 9 plus 4y squared, Okay. If you simplify all of this out, you are then going to get to the following. Um, okay, I take everything one side and I simplify it. You're going to get to 2y squared minus 3y plus 1 equals to 0. Okay, and therefore when we uh, use the quadratic formula, we shall see that y equals to a half or y equals to 1. Okay, now we need to solve for x. Now we just plug in y equals a half into equation 1 and y equals 1 into the equation uh, 1. So x, that's y1, that's y2. Okay, so x1 is going to equal to 2 times a half uh, minus 3 and then that's just going to be 1 minus 3 gives you then negative 2 and then for x2 we're then going to have uh, 2 times 1 minus 3 and then we end up with uh, 2 minus 3 gives you minus 1. Okay, therefore we'll have the coordinates of minus 2 and a half and we shall have uh, the other one of uh, minus 1 and 1. Okay, and then we've solved for 1.2. Now, 1.3 is quite a complicated question, okay? So 1.3 says the roots of the equation are given as that. Okay, that's your quadratic formula. X equals negative n plus minus the root of n squared minus 4mp all over 2m. Where m, n, and p are positive real numbers. Okay, so we know that they're positive real numbers. Uh, the next thing that states there is that m, n, and p in order 
uh, form a geometric sequence. Okay, so we need to know what geometric sequence is. And then it says prove that x is a non-real number. So for x to be non-real, 1.3, we got to prove that the square root of n squared minus 4mp, okay, we've got to prove that everything under the square root is less than zero. So we need to show that n squared minus 4mp is less than zero. Why? Because then we have the square root of a negative number. Okay, but what did they tell us there? They told us that mnp in that order, mnp, is a geometric series. Okay, what do we know about geometric se uh, sequences or series? We know that they have a common ratio. So we can find the common ratio over here. So common ratio would be uh, this one divided by that one and this one divided by that one. So we have n over m must equal to p over n. Now we can get an expression that's going to look something like this up here. So we're going to have take that over, that becomes n squared equals to pm, okay, now I'm going to take it over, so I'm going to have n squared equals to uh, da, 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 minus pm equals to zero, okay, so now we have an expression for n squared and we've created this expression here, okay, now the next thing we're going to look at is this delta part over here, Okay, so from the quadratic formula, we know that delta equals to the square root of n squared minus 4mp. But we've just shown up here that n squared equals to uh, m or pm. Okay, so I'm going to substitute pm into this formula over here. So therefore, delta is going to equal to the square root of pm minus 4mp, uh, okay, same thing because of multiplication. Therefore, we're going to end up with the square root of 1 minus 4 is going to give me negative 3mp. Uh, now, because this here is negative, we're going to then get in the quadratic formula x equals to negative b plus minus the square root or. Uh, Okay, then that's b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, in this case, they gave it in terms of m and n. Okay, this part here is delta. So I'm going to substitute what delta is equal to into there. So we end up with x equals to, using what they gave us, negative n plus minus delta was the square root of negative 3mp all over 2m. Therefore, because delta equals the square root of a negative number, okay, we can then say, conclude, therefore, x uh, is non-real. Because we know that over here, pm is equal to n squared because it's a geometric sequence. Okay, and that's how we go about doing this question. Okay, if you guys are managing to finish this question around the 20 minute mark, then you guys are on track for your exams at the end of the year. If this content is helping, then please leave a thumbs up on the content. It does help me out a lot. Please consider subscribing to the channel down below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And remember, it's never too late to have an OIC moment.